friends welcome back to my channel tonight I'm going to make a little Valentine decor I have a spot in my bathroom that needs something kind of tall and narrow and when I came across this tall picture frame last week I knew this would fit the bill if I could get it made over now I did pick it up at the Dollar Tree and I do have two more dollars invested in this project I have a roll of this burlap ribbon I had previously bought this so if your store doesn't have this burlap ribbon then you could certainly use your own or you know whatever you got even strips of fabric or something but our goal is to cover up this plastic frame because nothing screams dollar store quality than a plastic picture frame and uh, the third dollar was invested in just a little a uh, couple of these little roses now to fill the picture frame uh, I'm going to use some sheet music now you may not know this or not but if you google sheet music or you know music paper you can print off paper that looks just like this but I just happen to have a little music book that I picked up at a thrift store that I use for crafting so all I did was I just cut my music paper down to eight and a half to fit into my printer and I just googled Valentine silhouettes and I just centered them up on the paper and printed them out pretty simple enough if you know how to work a computer and know how to drag an image over to your blank piece of paper then you're good to go now keep in mind that just because this project is valentine themed hopefully this will get your wheels turning that if you want to do one that's easter themed or spring themed there's just all kinds of sil black and white silhouettes that you can print off like little rabbits or you know spring flowers whatever this would be super cute adapted to whatever you know special occasion or you know time of the year after I get my frame wrapped I'm going to put a little bow and maybe uh, glue some of the roses or something on it but that this ribbon right here is is to just kind of make a little whimsical bow to put on the corner of the frame is what I've got envisioned so what I need to do now is go ahead and take this frame all apart I'm going to wrap it in the ribbon and then I'll get back I with to show you that as I'm wrapping this frame that the little metal pieces that are holding the glass in I'm folding those back on the frame so I'll have a smooth surface all right, I got my frame wrapped, and as you can see, I've got about a half an inch too short, but that's okay because this is the back of the frame. Uh, it will work out fine, but the front of the frame, it will be totally covered up with the embellishment. Now what I need to do is I went ahead and cut my printed artwork to fit into the mat, and now I'm getting ready to set the glass on the frame. After, since I wrapped the frame, the glass is not going to fit in there like it normally would. So what I'm going to do is run a small bead of glue all the way around the glass so that it adheres to the ribbon and the glass. I'll show you that I did tape my artwork in place and now I'm going to hot glue the cardboard on okay, the back. I want to show you what the back looks like. I've got it all hot glued but you know we learn from you know trial and error and I see that there is a little bit of gap because you know my glass does not fit down in the frame. So this is what I'm going to do to fix it. Instead of using hot glue, because I don't want hot glue to show, you know, uh, outside of my picture frame, it would be very hard to stay that neat. I'm just going to take some wet glue, like my Art Gitter glue, and squeeze a little down in that crack. And I've got some of this, uh, like, jute twine that kind of matches the burlap ribbon. I think that will kind of disguise if I shove it down in that gap real nice and neat, it will catch and dry real quick and it will disguise that little gap that I have there. So if you do have some of this little, actually I think this come from the Dollar Tree as well. So, you know, that is an easy fix if you do have a gap between your glass and the frame. I just want to show you the sides of my picture frame. That definitely fixed the little gap. Now so what I'm going to do is go ahead and create a little bow here and what I'm going to do is take my little strips of ribbon and I'm just going to layer them crisscross wise just like this I've showed this bow many many times take about four different types of ribbon that you have and lay them across crisscross just like that I'm going to cinch them in the center and then I'm going to hot glue a rose in the center attach it to my frame and hang it up and show you my finished project. Hey friends, we are in my downstairs bathroom and I'm always a little reluctant to do projects at night just because filming casts so many shadows and you just don't get a good impression of what things really look like without natural light. But I assure you this is so cute with the bow glued at the top. You can't even see where I was short a half an inch of ribbon. I love the Valentine silhouettes. I think I'm seriously going to make one for spring or Easter because I just love the way that looks and it just fits perfect there in that little urn of greenery. So I hope it inspires you in some way and I really appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.